SoundCloud. Boom. Boom. Let's do it. It's been a while since we've done one of these. I know, it really has. Yeah. How you been feeling? a minute. Fine. Fine. I feel fine. <laughs> Coke. Fire. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Roberto Guido. And my name is Marissa Lewis. And together we are the, the Dos Cocos Locos. And welcome to our podcast. So, our goal with this podcast is to drop as much coconut fire, which is our way of saying life slash business knowledge bombs, for creatives that don't necessarily know much about life or business through conversations with one another as well as with other fellow creatives and dope people. Our story has a lot of twists and turns, but basically, we started by selling coconuts at the beach, and now we have our own photography and videography business. And it's through these conversations that we were able to really learn how to navigate this thing called life. Enjoy. Um, today we're talking about an idea uh, that came to us during this time of, of like isolation and um, just like a, a new experience for us in our business where like we basically lost all of our jobs for a month and yeah. had to rebuild <laughs> so march was like rough april was definitely a lot better yeah um and now we're still like slowly picking up more momentum which has been fun um but anyways we're talking about this idea that came to us during this time when we probably should have been a little bit in theory you're usually a bit safer when everything gets really scary yeah and we're like Fuck that. Let's do something <laughs> crazy. So, so that's what happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and basically, this idea, Marissa kind of had it already, like, in the back of her mind. She, like, she literally wrote it down in her notebook. Yeah. It's like some B-roll of her notebook. But um, she wrote down this idea of creating a candle and se selling a candle mm -hmm. back in, like, 2017. To be specific, it was August 12th, 2017. Which is freaking wild. So almost three years ago, basically. Mm -hmm. And... We kind of talked about the idea like a little bit after we got married, but then the whole quarantine thing happened. We're like, yo, like this is a little too crazy. Yeah. But then as quarantine continued to progress, we're like, yo, maybe it's just crazy enough to like to work because no one else is going to think about doing this. Like you just have to be crazy to do it. So we're like, well, we're crazy mm -hmm. and we have done crazier th things in the past. Like sell coconuts, like our creative meetups, mm -hmm. um, quitting, quitting our jobs and just doing photo and video full time. So we're like, yep. what's another thing to add to the list? So we're like, all right, let's just weigh out our options and let's see where this goes. So we had a few different ideas as far as like what we wanted to like focus our time on. So mm -hmm. we've like did our digital packs and things like that. Mm -hmm. But I think the candle was kind of like, our biggest one because we're like yo if we do this then not only are we able to like brand our sound which is like the coconut fire intro mm -hmm. but we can also brand a scent which is right. like that, that just brings your brand to another level so like we're, like, we're literally touching another like sense <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna keep going. No, that was it. So, <laughs> like literally. So, so now you, we're, where you hear us, <laughs> you you see us, and now you can smell us, right? <laughs> Which is kind of weird to say. But yeah, so like we just thought that that would be so cool to be able to do that. You can almost taste us now. Right. <laughs> That's the next one. That's how, yeah. Or we could go back to like selling coconuts. You could drink us. Right. <laughs> That's yeah. so funny. So, um, so yeah, so Marissa had this idea. We're like, yo, this is crazy. And then the longer time went on, we're like, yo, this just might be a crazy enough idea to to like to work and do it because like literally we were just sitting and realizing what we have around us at all times during this time of being home mm -hmm. and working uh we have bugs so we made mugs we have candles so we made candles <laughs> <laughs> and we realized that like what other people are using during this time everyone's yeah. at home a candle is literally perfect everyone's drinking coffee everyone needs a cup <laughs> yeah um so it just made sense and um what was scary and didn't really make sense during this time is that we decided to do this in um, basically the end of March. Yeah. So it took almost all of April to really get this yeah, set up. Yeah, the whole process. And the process itself was pretty crazy. And we'll talk about the process in a second. Yeah. But like basically our finances were kind of running a bit low because it was the end of March and we didn't get any new jobs basically mm -hmm. for the most part. We did have- Of March. A, of March. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we had like one job that kind of helped out a lot. Uh, shout out to Juan and Haley. But, um, <laughs> but other than that though, there really wasn't much coming in. So we're like, oh man. But we just decided to just- go for it anyway because we're like yo like we have to at least come out of this season season with like something new and something like that that would test our faith and our like our trust 
mm-hmm. and just be like if we could do this then like god has our back and we can really like try to do some different stuff you know as long as it's the right mentality type thing mm-hmm. so not like we're like testing him yeah we're not like... yeah we're not testing god but like, <laughs> but like just our like like our faith kind of thing it just um, felt right yeah yeah so so what we're saying in all of this is that if you have a crazy idea the timing might not seem ideal um literally nothing that we've done has seemed ideal yeah um whether it was like <laughs> selling coconuts we did it during summer that was fun that was random um but then we had to start our jobs so we couldn't really continue with that and then we quit our jobs and that was uh another random moment yeah. in time I, it's kind of hard to explain it's just that we feel like uh like we feel like a sense of like yo we just gotta try this it's not like we we thought about it like multi, like a long time and then try to do it. We're just mm-hmm. like we feel something. We're like I don't know why I feel like we need to try this, but like we yeah. just need to do it. Like even with the pop ups, like we saw a building, we're like, "Yo, this would be crazy," mm-hmm. and then that all happened real quick. But then everything that has happened from those moments has have led to like community being built. Mm-hmm. So like, um, basically, what I'm trying to say, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think what he's trying <laughs> to say is go with your gut. Like yeah. if you feel something as intensely and it doesn't even have to be like like oh my gosh i had this wonderful dream and i have to start doing (laughs) pop-ups but like if you just sense like oh this might be a good idea this might actually work um i would enjoy doing this This is something that i Mm -hmm. would want to have in the world and be um a physical thing then just do it like i know it's it's such like a it's such a misused phrase at this point because everyone's just telling you yeah, to like just go just with your it, gut and but... just do it and <laughs> Nike this, Nike that. <laughs> but what we're trying to say is, if you have an idea, um, just act with urgency. Yeah. Like if I... you don't act with urgency and actually just follow through with the plan, um, it just gets lost and the dream just dies and then it's nothing new has changed yeah you just stay in the same spot so mm-hmm. i think with this um dream it took two years to actually come to fruition <laughs> but um it's because we it we needed to have all of those other steps in order to meet dennis at the candle board <laughs> yeah. in order to actually make this happen this little partnership happen for us to get these candles so like um sometimes your steps won't look like the way you think they're gonna look um and the timing's not going to look the way <laughs> you think it's yeah. going to feel. Um, literally, we spent our last dollars on a, the deposit for these candles at the yeah. time. And we didn't, like, we weren't betting on the stimulus check to come in and, like, save yeah. our, like, save the day. Like, we literally were. We're just, we were literally just, just like, going, going all, all in. in. Yeah. And I think that's something else, like, that you need to consider if you have, like, a goal or a dream or, like, an idea. Um, you have to go all in on it. Mm-hmm. If you don't go all in and you, like, half-ass it, you're going to get half-ass results. And that's literally with anything yeah. in life. That's true. Like, working out and eating healthy. Which is something we need to work on. But we're at least we recognize it. We recognize yeah. it. We half-ass it <laughs> constantly. We work out, like, sure, once yeah. a week and, and then we're like, and okay. that's why our physical health is into where we want it to be. Exactly. Cause... And so, literally anything in life. If you have an idea, if you have, like, I want to be fit. You're not going to eat a whole bag of Oreos like we did last night. <laughs> so, At 3 o'clock in the morning. It's <laughs> 3 o'clock in the morning on FaceTime. So, <laughs> so yes, don't have faster idea. Yeah. Like, you need to go all in. So, you need to move quickly. You need to go all in and see and, what happens. Yeah, just see. I think, I think that's what <laughs> happens a lot. Like, we, we get caught up in the, the what, like, like, everybody just has to see what happens but then just like naturally we get caught up in like all the what ifs and we get Mm -hmm. we almost like inspire ourselves out of our idea or our dream because we're like well what if it works it's like that would be nice but what if all of this other bad stuff happens Mm -hmm. and then that outweighs the the one potential good thing and then all the bad what ifs yeah kind of cancel out the good the one good what good one if Mm -hmm. and then you're just like no i'm not gonna do it and even so, even more so, sometimes the good what if turns into a bad what if. You're like, oh, what Dang. if this actually does work? Yeah. Then what? Yeah. Like, then I achieve my goal and everything's over. Or I become so busy that I don't know how to keep up with the demand. Or we actually have to go and ship these candles and we don't even know how to ship them yet. <laughs> and we don't. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we're going to figure it out. <laughs> but you, I mean, you're always going to have, I yeah. think that ties into Damn. like, you're always going to have problems. And you're always going to make up problems in your head. But, like, what problems do you want to have? Dang. That's 
That's fire right there. Mm-hmm. Boom. Coconut fire. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, literally, uh, this is this video is more for us kind of too because we get caught up in our own head a lot. Oh, yeah. Especially during this quarantine time. Like, the, like that's literally us. We're like only the only ones really talking to each other in person. Yep. So it's really easy to get caught up in our heads. But um, it's really easy to get like you might have like one good idea and a lot of people feel like the opposite of a good idea is just a bad idea, which in most cases it most cases it is Mm -hmm. but in some cases a good idea the opposite of a good idea could be another good idea Mm -hmm. so like in our case we were kind of battling with like well if you create a candle like that would be a a good idea but what's like the opposite of like not doing this candle like or like what are like some like challenges that come through this like other Mm -hmm. people have candles too why would people want to buy our coconut fire candle yeah so and that's not to say that you shouldn't look at what you're about to move into like yeah. you need to look at the good yeah. bad, and the ugly mm-hmm. of anything you need you to be realistic to with what you're trying to do right Doesn't like sense. we're not telling you to like right now in may run for president of 2020 <laughs> like that's not a realistic unless you, goal unless you've been like like unless you've been like training for that right stuff. unless you've been mentally yeah. preparing and campaigning and winning doing every all, vote like, like doing all the work that leads up to it type of right thing. but like you can't just you need to be realistic with your goals, but then also, I mean, you still have to have unrealistic goals. Like, us making a candle didn't make any sense two years ago, but I'm like, yeah. fuck it, I'm writing it down, <laughs> we're gonna make it happen. I can Google it. Literally, this ties into another video that Dang, we're gonna make. True. Everything is Googleable. That's Literally, true. just search your shit, people. I don't understand why people have so many questions about the world and just don't Google it. Yeah. Like, just look it up, ask somebody, call somebody. From, from a different point of view, because I, I see how Marissa works, Yeah, the way that she <laughs> learns and how she has like the tenacity to just do something is way bigger than mine because i get very like fed up i feel like people just get frustrated because i get frustrated i get frustrated yeah. but i think people just get frustrated like they do some research and then they feel like they learn some like enough mm-hmm. to just like talk about it but not actually do it but yeah. then they're like i don't know where to go from here yeah. so they get caught up because yeah, there's so much information too it's overwhelming that's true yeah so, we are in like the information age yeah so i like you just have a way of I don't know. The way you Google stuff is just different than the way I Google. So I don't know. We do Google we do, things we differently. We do have different ways. So I think the way you Google, because people can just say, just Google it. Yeah. I think the way you Google is more important than just you While you're Google. Googling? Like, yeah. True. So. Basically, just be specific. We're going to make a whole video on how to Google yeah. things because apparently people know how to do it. And it's really funny because we do Google things differently. Yeah. And I've noticed when like, even if we have like a question, I'm like, oh, just look yeah. it up. And it takes you so much longer it takes to me find so much an longer than you. I don't know because I'm just like, well, I don't know. Like for me, I want to know everything about something. I'm just like, well, I don't know even where to start. So I go from the very beginning because that's just how I like I would study on tests. I don't know. That's all the that's, that's a whole other top. That's a whole other whole topic. Though. But then but. I get like, well, I'm just gonna say it real quick, <laughs> just looking at an opposition. Yeah. But I Google very specifically. Yeah, because you know exactly what you want to find. And that's what it is. Like, I don't really know what I'm trying to find. So I'm like, all right, let me just get general questions in there. You're True. like, Marissa's like, how do I get my Shopify link to connect to my Wix website so that way I can sell a candle? Like, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's a specific like, question. Like, I'm like, how, how do you even search that? You're like, I just searched that. And I'm like, oh, well, I guess. I found an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out. So somebody out there has also had another answer. Like, oh, the same question that you're having. You just have to ask yeah, it a certain way exactly yeah, literally so. every question you've ever thought to ask has probably been asked so just google it. and answered so that's true so let's kind of talk about like the process of the candles and how it all happened because the hardest part about mm-hmm. like making our candles is that we weren't able to actually smell them yeah or mix them up because of quarantine so yeah. usually with the candle pour you go and like they help you create your own candle mm-hmm. and we talked to them about our coconut fire and how we wanted to make our own signature scent yep. so that way we could like sell it to people who would be down to buy it um so he's like all right cool so we actually so we talked to him for like an hour mm-hmm. and then he, we kind of explained to him it was like kind of coconutty kind of fiery <laughs> that's all we really got kind of has to smell like wisdom you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're then- like this is the scent of doing <laughs> it needs to smell like knowledge yeah it needs to smell like you're using what you got and not caring about what other people are gonna think <laughs> and then, and then, but what was cool about dennis is he's like all right cool yes that's awesome and then he like he literally like broke it down and then within like a week he sent us some samples yeah really cool and then we were able to like smell some different samples and then we're like oh we really like this one mm-hmm. and that led to like the, the actual candles being made mm-hmm. um so 
Anything else that you want to add to that? That was really the process. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. Well, like he took care of the whole, the whole like candle making side. Yeah. But it was kind of cool thinking because normally we think about like photo video. Mm-hmm. It was our first time thinking in like smells. So yeah, like, well, because when we were describing the scent to him, we're like, okay, it definitely has to have coconut. It definitely has to have like a fiery, yeah. like musky kind of smell, but then not too coconutty because some people really don't like the yeah. smell of like the fake smell of coconuts. Like real coconuts don't smell anything like the coconut scent. Yeah. That people. Think of yeah, because some people coconuts. relate it to like the coconut sun block or whatever. Yeah, so like that, that makes sense too. Yeah, so, so we're like, it can't be too coconutty, but like it needs to have coconut. Can't be too earthy, but like it needs to <laughs> have a little bit of like down to earthness. To yeah, it. like dirt. <laughs> <laughs> so <it was> just... <laughs> but like not dirt, but then also like fresh, but then also like fire. <laughs> This is literally how the conversation went. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we recorded uh, it. <laughs> I, I don't think we did. Oh, that's so funny. I know, I know. I wish we did, but that was funny. It was funny. But basically, <laughs> that's how the conversation went. And then he gave us some samples, and yeah, the rest is history. But what's awesome is that he actually like filmed himself yeah, making these candles, that was and cool. we just asked him if if he could do like some B roll. Um, so we can kind of incorporate it into something that we were going to make. We had no idea what we're, what we were going to like come yeah. up with after this, but um, he was able to like make some like take some video of himself making the candles, and that was literally perfect. Yeah. We should include that in here. Yeah, right here, right here. <laughs> so, so that was awesome. And I don't know. It was just kind of cool, just kind of seeing the whole process. We're like, wow, we like the the process of like taking an idea literally from Marissa's brain to a notebook, yeah, to a freaking thing that's on the table now, yeah. Like that's just cool. Like that's I don't cool. know. It's just it's just the type of thing of like you're like, dude, like we did that. That was mm-hmm. cool. So and then, but on top of that, like having someone or knowing someone that can actually help you achieve your idea and make it come to life is also super important. Too, oh yeah. Which is why you should always be talking to as many people as you can whenever you're anywhere because we actually met dennis while we were doing a shoot for someone else yep and he just happened to be there and we're like oh this is cool I'm like are you the owner he's like yeah i'm one of the owners i'm like oh that's cool how are you guys and we learned his story and stuff yep and then we're like and then that's where the whole idea of like a- like actually create our own candle came to be too from from that time yeah as well because we're like oh we should have like a coconut we literally said yeah. it. we're like we should have a coconut fire candle and we're like hmm, interesting and that was like in february yeah like a little bit before we got married or january it was a little bit before we got married in February. Yeah. yeah. And then we got married and then honeymoon and then... Court. Pandemic. Yeah, pandemic. <laughs> and then candle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mid-pandemic. Yeah. So basically what we're trying to say is like we don't really have a strategic way or like a straight path of how we think or mm-hmm. how we try to execute on our ideas. Mm-hmm. We really just see what other people are doing like using at the time so like during this pandemic we just saw a lot of candles and it was kind of interesting because yeah. like maybe it was because we were thinking about it and we we're just seeing it more but we just maybe. we just kept on seeing so many candles we're like yo yeah there's... and like we were running out of candles like i'm yeah. almost out of all of my candles like, at home literally. and then i kept seeing them pop up in everyone's story that they were lighting a candle like they had a candle on the background of whatever they were doing mm-hmm. and i'm like interesting now is the time <laughs> everyone is home everyone needs a scent yeah in their home <laughs> so and then that's it because because we we were also like debating the idea of like trying to start a shirt like um for like the community too but we didn't really know how to do that like i don't know what i'm trying to say like basically we were like we were running through a couple of yeah we had ideas. a couple of different options but we just really had to choose one and stick with it and then just go all the way and i like, follow all the way through on mm-hmm. it so then that's how the candle came to be and yeah so now we have our own candle which is dope yeah it's coconut agave and campfire which uh-huh. is pretty lit um hand poured yeah and natural then, soy wax and then like even in the parts we're like all right now how do we sell a candle where like when no one has like is able to smell it before like buying it right so like you're you're, you're like even though like you do something you still have to like the problems are always going to be coming so you always have to like try to figure out how to answer them as they mm-hmm. come. So don't be afraid of problems when they come to you because yep. that just means that you're onto something, like you're on the right track. Because like, exactly. if you're not experiencing problems as you're going through something, then that means you're, one, you're doing it too easily, two, you don't really care about it, or... Or you're not moving. Or Yeah, exactly. So... Because like, you gotta move. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, yeah. think about it. Think about it. Literally just think about this. Really plain as example driving in a car you're never going to be in a road that's driving completely straight you literally have to turn at some point damn so like if you're just not driving and you're parked okay you don't even have to touch the steering wheel you don't have to do anything Mm -hmm. you don't have to think about what's happening you're literally just sitting in a non-moving vehicle Mm -hmm. but if your car is moving and you're actually heading in direction that you're supposed to be heading in 
or any direction really, good or bad, you're gonna have to turn the wheel. You're gonna have to make some decisions and actually act. Dang. That's what I have to say about that. Yep. Drive a car. Don't just sit there. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's my wife, guys. That's I'm pretty done. cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's basically all we want to say. Just like yeah. when you, I like just that's basically the overall way of how we execute on ideas. We come up with something crazy, not necessarily on the spot. Just kind of like it's been like in our mind a little bit, but not mm-hmm. too long. And we're just like, okay, what can we do with this? Yep. And then we're like, all right, what are other people kind of doing with this idea, or how are they doing it? How can we do it so it's different? Mm-hmm. And then how, like, who do we know that can help us do it? Yep. And then we do it. Yep. So that's, that's it. That's really it. Yep. And that's not to say that every plan always works out great. We literally have no idea if we're going to be able to sell these candles. Right. Like, like we literally do not know. We like, literally had to buy we haven't dropped, a bunch of We them. haven't dropped any of the promo yet. Like, as no. of today, we're going to drop it, like, in an hour from now. Yeah. Basically. So, like. We, I mean, we've had ideas that just completely flopped before yeah. and that we went all in and invested money into, like the shirts that we did for problem right. number three. three. Yeah. We bought, sh- we made shirts and it was just bad. Yeah. <laughs> like the shirts like weren't that great. And not like they were great. They were well made. Like they did a bomb job. Just, it was, well, I had put on rushed. the shirt. Yeah. It was too rushed. I didn't get to think yeah. of it through enough. I wanted to add something on the back. I didn't do it. I should have did it. Yeah. Um, and so we bought a whole bunch of shirts. But now we know... And didn't sell them like in the future yeah and we still have a box in our closet but now, yeah. that, now that we know about that mm-hmm. experience we're like all right if we were to drop a shirt later on how do we make then this better? how can we make it better yeah so, like, so literally you learn from everything yeah so like we didn't yeah that's basically like you, the way you see things just, just depends on your mindset like mm-hmm. you could see you lost money or we invested it into how to learn how to make a shirt yep we invested a lot it. of money into how to learn that. Yeah, but, but now we know. So we're like, all yeah. right, cool. So, and now we have a bunch of shirts that we get to wear all the time. Yeah, and, and now that we have a candle, we're like, all right, now we know how to, the process of making a candle. Mm-hmm. And like from the, the sales and all this stuff, we're going to see like, what did people like? What did people didn't like? What did people wish mm-hmm. they could see? What, yep. what could we switch up? Like even down to like how we described the candle itself. It was, mm-hmm. it was all very strategic. So yep. I was like, huh. This is how it feels like to sell a product. Yeah. So we're kind of going back to our roots where when we first started selling our coconuts. Right. So it, it's crazy. Like we really did learn a lot from selling coconuts mm-hmm. at the beach. So that's gonna be a whole other video. Yeah. Probably so, a book. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, <laughs> we hope that this inspires you to act actually execute on your crazy ideas. Mm-hmm. If you have any crazy ideas that you want to run by us, let us know. Feel free to reach out to us. Wait, you can, <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have any crazy ideas, guys, just feel free to reach out, email us, DM us, yep. call us if you want. Mm-hmm. Um, Leave a comment. Yes, and and sometimes literally, like sometimes you just need to talk about your crazy idea. Yeah. To help you start the process, yep. like literally, like after we talked to Dennis everything started moving really fast Mm -hmm. and we're like yo this is actually gonna happen so sometimes you just need to talk talk out loud about it yeah and talk to people who are also doing crazy ideas like if you talk to people who are not moving not driving that car like they're gonna tell you to not drive the car so like most of our crazy ideas are freaking wild and (laughs) some some people don't support them when we first start like that's true we didn't have the support of like a lot of our friends and family when we first quit our business. Yeah. Um, we didn't have a lot our, of our jobs. You mean when we first quit our jobs? When we first quit our jobs, not yeah. our business, not our business. When we first quit <laughs> our jobs, uh, we didn't have a lot of the support of like our friends and family. They're like, okay, let's see what happens. Yeah. Um, and like, we're still seeing what happens, but um, over time they see like, oh, so you're actually doing some shit. Yeah. Good job. But like, so you have to talk to people who are also making big moves because if you don't, you're just going to get stopped before you even start. Mm-hmm. Coconut fire. <laughs> Coconut fire. Fire. That's crazy. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, so go do the thing. Yeah. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's right. That's it. All right, guys. So that, 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 I think that's, that's literally all we need We're to done. Say. That's all we have to say for right now. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So keep being awesome. And until then, we'll see you in the next episode or podcast whatever this is called yep this is gonna be a lot of things so 
All right. The next one. Peace. Bye. Before we end this podcast, I just want to give a huge shout out to EV47. He's the one that made the beat for the beginning and end of this podcast. So you should definitely check him out because he's dope. And yeah, peace. Yes.